team news for tomorrow's game. Who can we expect to see back? Are there any injuries following the game on Sunday? We are going to wait. And I am not uh, telling what, who is our idea with the player, with the system, with the 18 players, with the first 11. Maybe just specifically then on, on, on Granit Xhaka, because we know he had a small problem which kept him out uh, against Crystal Palace. Is he available for selection? I want to keep all the information we can have for tomorrow. Sorry, this it's not new. because I think it's better for us. Uh, this is new. You've, never, you've never done that before. Nunca te has manejado así. Eh? Mm, yes, but maybe today. Yes, it's it's good change sometimes. <laughs> I, I, it's because uh, because maybe I don't want to be clear how they are our project. I prefer not for you. It's for our opposition. Part of the pre-match news conference is to get injury updates. Only you know is uh, Aaron Ramsey cannot play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. And Denis Suarez cannot play. You had a very good run at home in the Premier League, ten wins in a row. What do you think was the reason behind the, the Crystal Palace defeat? Was it the emotions of Napoli? First is. We made mistakes usually we didn't make at home. We didn't make at home. At home on, on the, in the matches. And second is because they used our mistake to, to, to take uh, this performance against us also because they have good players. It's, it's first is for us and second is for, for them. But uh, uh, not change our, our be consistent. We can lose, we can lose, we can win. But I think the team, uh, he is uh, showing consistent. And uh, one exception, like a Sunday, uh, cannot give us doubt, cannot give us lose some, some confidence. Continuing and uh, be strong in our, in our mind. Uh, in, in this moment, because uh, I think uh, we need to, to be uh, strong first with uh, our confidence. Um, other managers who in the top race for the top four who lost this weekend were very angry about their players' performances. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer says some players are playing for the future, are playing for the right to stay at Manchester United. Do you feel there'll be any clear out here at Arsenal or have you not decided yet whether who's staying and who's who's going in the summer? Soska ha dicho que los jugadores irlandeses están jugando el futuro. Para ti habrá un cambio radical aquí en el Arsenal en el verano o no? In my focus and our focus in my career and in, in my host history and for the best performance is is uh, to think about the next matches and for for me the future don't exist i i live the present and it's very important each match to show first our performance to first uh, second show my capacity and also the players show every match with our support and, uh, and with uh, our test, but uh, not thinking in the future. The future, you, you are creating your future with the present and you need to play each match thinking about, uh, about that uh, big spirit to, to, to do all we can individually, collectively. And I, I believe in, in the players, I believe in, in our way, and I think with argumentation, because we are now in this moment with the possibilities. And uh, it's, it's not for me mm, nothing about the future. Wolves. Yes, present wolves. Very well this season, but not so well lately. Are they 
finished? They're just looking forward to their summer holidays? I don't think. They, they are going to push a lot tomorrow. Yeah, I learned one thing here very quickly. When we are playing against all the teams, they, they want to battle us, fighting and playing with a big um, motivation. So one is their motivation in the table for each player, and second is the motivation against Arsenal. And every team want to battle us because they respect us and also because uh, uh, it's uh, something important to, 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 to try to, to win to us. As we've discussed, your home form in the Premier League has been very good. But three of your last four games are away from home in the Premier League. Is that a factor in the race for the top four? Well, speaking about the Beacon consistent and uh, be competitive and sometimes you can be competitive but less brilliant in your game plan and we won doing that and sometimes you are competitive playing brilliant and also give you the victory and the two last matches away we won against uh, Napoli against against Watford we did them brilliant, but we played being competitive and was enough for, for to win. But we need to improve because maybe the next match is, is not enough for to win. And we are continuing our, our way thinking to improve. Be competitive. Some, some moment in the 90 minutes we need not to be brilliant, but be competitive. And another moment we need to be brilliant for use our quality to, to win against the position. And to, tomorrow we need both. We need be competitive and we need some moment uh, our quality. But above all, after our organization and after our capacity to, to keep moving uh, ahead but uh, being, being uh, organized and being consistent. You began by saying it's in our hands to finish in the top four. Do you think are you confident you're going to finish in the top four? Uh, yes. Also, it depends on other teams, your result. But at the beginning, it's in our hands if we win. But we, we also want to be intelligent. And for example, Sunday, we, we didn't win. But maybe today we can we can say one point was was important Sunday, and maybe it can happen in the next matches. We we are going to to prepare the match for thinking also to win, but we can win, we can draw, we can lose. Uh, the the first situation for us is uh, is in our hands is we win, but also after they are going to play another matches also difficult matches and. Uh, we watched it yesterday, uh, very difficult and tough match for Chelsea against Barley at home. We are thinking he's going to win, but very, very uh, strong uh, uh, playing against 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 Barley and tough match, and and the result is uh, is one draw. Is the reason uh, we 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 want to to be intelligent and we want to be. Uh, also consistent in uh, 38 matches and sometimes one draw in the way was good in, at, the, at the end. On Sunday your defence struggled but then I think the defence struggled here for a while. Um, is that an area, I know you don't want to look too far ahead, but is that an area you have to get right moving forward? El domingo en la zona tuvo problemas en defensa, igual ha sido un tema pendiente durante mucho tiempo. En el futuro es algo que hay que arreglar. The last matches we were well, and defensively we were strong. We didn't uh, receive a lot of goals. But Sunday was different match, first, because we struggled more in the set pieces when we were very consistent. And it's, uh, it's uh, a mistake, a big mistake, because they, they use it for, to battle us. 
And after defensively, when we are playing with three central back, we can be, we can feel uh, more consistent. But the second half, we uh, we needed to change because the result is not good for the first half, and we used two central back. And after uh, the third, the second goal, when we were better on the match, is one mistake, tactically mistake, because uh, we don't want to to let one one defense player defending one against one against Zaha because uh, some one player can lost against him because he's very good player and it's one tactical defeat and uh, we know how we, we did that s Sunday but uh, we are going to continue in improving and we're going to, to work in for not to repeat and be strong and be defensively consistent it's normal sometimes when you need to attack a lot maybe you can lose something defensively but uh, I think we are improving and Sunday is one uh, one match, uh, uh, one exception match for for uh, our our improve uh, in defend the moment, and we are going to continue in first uh, believing in in our work and 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 tomorrow is uh, our target also continuing uh, being a strong uh, like uh, defense uh, team. Finally, from me, Manchester United has been six years since Ferguson left, and they're still struggling. Last week was one year since a long-time manager here and Arsene Wenger left and you are still challenging for a European place and a European trophy. Can you just tell us how well you think you've done this season yourself personally in your first season in this club in this league? El United lleva seis años sin Ferguson, sigue teniendo problemas. El Arsenal lleva un año sin Wenger y bueno, se está jugando un trofeo internacional, se está luchando por el top four. Tú podrías hacer un balance sobre tu primer año aquí en el Arsenal. No now, no now, because uh, each match uh, gives us uh, <laughs> if we can uh, take our, our target or no. And my my test uh, personally is is the same, but uh, I don't uh, use my personal situation for for to use or to show uh, outside. Uh, I I want to to be together in our test also the team the club me and we want to to take the our objective the first uh, to be in the Champions League uh, through the Premier or through Europe League and above all also because the Europe League can can give us one title a possibility but I know now it's going to be very difficult our target to be in the, the in the Champions League the next year continuing very difficult. And uh, is is really uh, absolutely my my only only focus. Thank you.